Hi, and welcome to this gentle yoga class. In this class, we're going to flow gently through some poses and then hold them to get a deeper stretch. Introducing a little bit of movement will help to make sure that we're feeling the stretch deep in the belly of the muscle as opposed to jamming into our joints. So this is a great class for after a workout, on a recovery day or a rest day to help to boost your recovery. In addition, this could be a great class for someone who's new to yoga or just needs a chill day. So let's begin taking a few moments to connect to our breath. The breath is the most important part of your practice and your breath helps to make the practice more fluid and it creates a meditative quality. It helps to draw your focus inward so that you can feel what's happening in your body. To do that, let's just sit up straight and tall, whether you're seated on a cushion or flat on the ground. And as you sit up tall, close your eyes and draw your focus inward. And with your eyes closed, just start by feeling the contact of the skin on your hands on your legs. Let your shoulders relax, your hips relax. And let's practice taking three conscious breaths in and out through our nose. And as you do that, I want you to focus on the exhalation and being patient to let all the air out. So take a slow breath in with me. And then send all the air out through your nose, nice and chill. When you breathe in, imagine you're taking just 80% of the air in so that you don't tense your neck or your shoulders at all at the top. And then send it all out. Again, slow breath in, 80%. Pause and let it all out. Then open your eyes, but keep the eyes closed feeling, keeping your focus inward on your breath. Let's come into child's pose. If this pose bothers your knees at all, then you can just cross your legs and fold forward. But otherwise, with your big toes together and your knees wide enough for your ribs to slide in between, stretch your arms forward and let your head drop down. And just notice when you exhale, you can feel from the position of the thighs against your ribs that the front ribs can release away from the thighs. And then as you breathe in, naturally, there's more expansion in your back. And that will help to alleviate some of the tension that you feel in your back and your neck and your shoulders. Allowing the breath to help to reposition your rib cage so that you're more connected to your core. Then come up onto your hands and your knees. Let's introduce some movement through the spine. For cat-cow, tuck your pelvis and round your lower back, round your middle and upper back, and look back towards your belly button. As you inhale, go the other way. Flip your sit bones up, let your lower back drop down towards the floor, your middle back, your upper back and then start to take your gaze forward and up. Round starting from the pelvis and imagine you can move segmentally one vertebra at a time, rolling like a wave up through your spine, nice and fluid like water, flip the other way as you inhale. One more round, exhale. Now see if you can slow down your breath and if the slow breathing helps you to improve and increase the range of motion. 
and inhale, go the other way. Should feel really good to move with your breath. Then come into a neutral spine. You're not rounded, you're not arched. And step your left foot up to the outside of your left hand. Now if it's too much stretch here, you could elevate. You could put blocks or books underneath your hands or come up onto fingertips. But otherwise, from this position, let's introduce some twisting. So I want you to take your left hand, slide it behind your right wrist. And imagine you could reach from your back ribs, your back shoulder to your hand. Exhale. Deflate the front ribs like when the thighs were there. And then as you inhale, twist open. Raise your arm up. Reach down through your right hand to help to open. As you exhale, slide through. So this is the dynamic fluid movement before we hold the stretch. And as you inhale, reach up. Let's do one more, helping to warm up the muscles. Exhale, all the air out. And inhale, hold the stretch. Now for a little deeper stretch, keep your left thigh dropping down like I have a sandbag on it for you. And then see if you can curl your back toes and lift your back knee. If it feels like too much stretch, just keep the back knee down. Then bring your left hand down onto the inside of your foot. Drop the back knee down. And as you inhale, let your hips start to melt forward towards your wrists. And as you exhale, slide your hips back. And reach the hips back towards your back heel as you reach through your left inner foot. As you inhale, glide forward. And as you exhale, glide the hips back. Inhale, glide forward. And exhale, glide back. Hold in that stretch. Reach through your left inner foot as you drag your hips back further and further. Remember the child's pose breath. The exhalation helps to deflate the front ribs into their neutral position, helping you to reconnect to your core. And then as you inhale, feel the back and side rib expansion. Again, this type of breath helps to relieve the chronic tension that accumulates in the lower back, hips, and in the neck. It's really the antidote for the stress that improper breathing creates. Now shift forward again to stack your left knee right over your ankle. And then we're gonna do some pumping movement through the back leg. So lift your back thigh up as you reach into your big toe mound and then lower it down. Lift up and lower down. One more up and down. Lift up one last time and hold that position. If you'd like to go for a deeper stretch in this position, you could set your elbows down onto the ground. Otherwise, just hold here and breathe. Then from here, step back into downward facing dog, or you can just mellow it out by going to child's pose. So either stretching into a down dog stretch, or with the knees down, stretch into child's. Five breaths. Let the armpit chest, the underarm start to open and stretch. Slow, steady breathing. Mm -hmm. 
whether you're in down dog or in child's pose, drop your knees down, come to all four position again, and then bring your right foot up to the outside of your right hand. Let your hips settle in this position for a moment and then slide your right hand behind your left wrist. Reach through, exhale here. And as you inhale, twist open. Exhale to slide through. Inhale, twist open. Exhale, slide through. Inhale, twist open. Then hold in this open position, or you can lift your back thigh up. In addition to this sequence being a great recovery or general easy yoga class, it can also be a great morning wake up routine. Bring your right hand down, then slide your hips back and stretch through your right inner leg as you breathe the hips back. And then as you inhale, glide the hips forward. Exhale to stretch the hips back and you can scoot your back knee further back if you're not feeling much stretch. Inhale, glide forward. Exhale, stretch back. Last one before we hold, building some heat in the muscles. Inhale. Exhale to stretch back and hold. Let the front ribs completely deflate. Let all the wind out of your sails. And then as you breathe in, let the back and side rib sails expand more. Lengthen through your right inner foot, through the ball of the big toe, as the hips release back. Let go of the tension you're holding. And come forward again into the lunge. And let's pump the back leg a little bit, lift the back knee and lower. Each time you lift, see if you can drop your right hip a little bit deeper until it feels like your right hip is down in line with your knee. Last pump, slowly lower the back leg and then lift up and hold. You can hold up on the hands or come onto the elbows if it feels like too much stretch with your back leg up, you can keep it down and just hold there for five breaths. Again, reach evenly into your right foot, the heel, big toe, and little toe mound. And let the right femur drop as you breathe your spine long. Lengthen back through your tailbone, your pelvic roots to your back foot. Chest broad, collarbones broad. Then stretch back into downward facing dog or child's pose. Now walk your feet forward to the front of your mat. 
And with a little bend in your knees, roll yourself up to stand. Try to roll the spine, like a wave coming up through the spine. Then bring your hands to your hips and squeeze your glutes at the top, roll your heart open. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chest. And then roll your chin into your chest and roll yourself back down. As you inhale, bend the knees slightly and come up halfway. Slide your hands up your shins, elongate here. Then plant your hands down and step back to downward dog or child's pose. From your downward dog, set your knees back down. Cross your legs behind you and sit back. Kind of tricky. Now <laughs> scoot your hips forward and roll down onto your back. Watch out for your fluffy dog. Plant your heels down and lift your hips up. Come up for bridge pose. As you hold in bridge pose, press down into the four corners of your feet. Reach your knees out of your lower back. And as the knees reach, you should feel the hamstrings engage. Let's do one slow exhalation. Send all there out so that your front ribs can release back in and down. This helps us to reconnect to the core. And then as you reach the knees away from you, see if the hips can come up a little bit higher, keeping the hamstrings, which will help to keep the pelvis in the position we want, and keeping the ribs reaching down towards the pelvis. As you inhale, expand into the whole rib cage. Now let's add a little shoulder opener. If you're on a yoga mat, Grab the sides of the yoga mat and roll the shoulders open. If you're not, just pretend like you got the yoga mat. You can turn your palms, start to roll the palms open like palms up towards the ceiling. Press your upper arm bones down. Feel your upper chest open. And then slowly lower your hips back down. That felt pretty good. Hug your right knee gently into your chest and reach through your left thigh bone down and away from you. Point the left toes straight up as you do. Change legs, hug the left knee into your chest and stretch through your right leg. Release the thigh bone down as you reach through the foot. Change legs, hug the right knee in again. And as you hold that knee, reach your right arm back without letting your front rib cage follow. Change sides, hug the left knee in, reach your left arm back without letting the front rib cage follow. So you're not borrowing or hinging from your spine to stretch your shoulder. You're just seeing how much pure glenohumeral flexion you can get without extension from the thoracic lumbar junction at all, keeping the back ribs releasing down. Change sides one more time, and then we'll go into a twist. Now open your right arm out to the side and take your right knee over to the left. I recommend hooking the right big toe behind the left knee as you twist.
And this is an amazing pose for your spine. It'll help to open up your chest, your shoulder. This little routine, if, if you could work this in regularly, daily, so many amazing benefits from these gentle stretches. You'll start to feel more freedom in the way that you move. You'll notice a sense of your body holding less tension. Come back to center and change legs. Hug that left knee back in again. Reach the left arm back. Then open left arm out to the side and twist. Take the knee over to the right. And I recommend a little hook behind that right knee so that there isn't too much sacral torsion, that the sacrum doesn't twist to take you over. But instead you're getting the rotation from higher up in the spine. Now I want you to bring your awareness, go inward, and notice right where you feel the tension, where you feel your body is holding back a little bit. And see if, as you exhale, you can relax into that tension so that on the inhalation, you can release and open up and create more space. The in-breath helps to invite prana or life force energy into the body where it might be blocked. Of course, that's not a anatomical or scientific thing, but that's what we say in yoga, that there's energetic blockages and being able to breathe through, or relax into them, helps to open us up and then it helps to improve our workspace in our sport, in our activity. So we're less prone to injury as a result. Come back to center and gently hug your knees to your armpits. If you wanna go deeper in this stretch, then reach onto the insides of the knees and catch a hold of your feet. Feel your hips melt down. Feel your shoulders relax. Keep coming back to the exhalation. How deeply can you relax in the pose? Now for your final hip opener, you could lie on your back and take ankle to knee pose, or you could roll yourself up, cross the legs and fold forward, which everyone feels like you get a better stretch for your outer hip. change sides, whether you're doing the cross-legged forward fold or ankle over knee stretch, you can hold the back of the leg or take the shin to go deeper.
Next, we're gonna do handstands. No, I'm just kidding. Release that and stretch your legs out for Shavasana, course pose. Practice being still here for a few moments. As we consciously relax the body. So you will notice through this conscious relaxation that you hold tension in the body, even when you're just laying here. So let's start by scanning in the face and in your head and the scalp muscles of the face, the jaw, the tongue, relax completely. Let the eyes soften and release back. And your neck and your shoulders can relax deeper. Feel how your hands still hold tension. Can you empty the hands? Empty the tension in the arms. Feel in your abdominals, relax the abdominals, relax your back muscles. Empty the tension in the pelvis, in the groins and in the hips. Let your thigh bones drop. Let your shins drop and all the muscles in your legs relax. Feel the feet, feel the soles of the feet spread, the toes, the ankles, the tops of the feet all relax. Feel how much more relaxed the body is. You're welcome to stay here longer in this conscious relaxation. Otherwise, bend your knees and roll to your side and press yourself up. Thank you for joining me for this class. Namaste. Thanks for joining me for class today. If you're someone looking to deepen or advance your yoga practice, then I'm gonna recommend that you try the Conscious Movement Community. The Conscious Movement Community or the CMC is a course that I put together for people like yourself who are interested in deepening the practice. So it'll meet you at whatever level you're at in your practice and help you to advance. In addition to that, I post exclusive weekly videos that are a little longer, a little stronger, and I introduce a little more variety with poses and more advanced poses that you'll be able to do through doing the course. Also, I have all my exclusive courses over there, including the arm balance course, the handstand course, the chakra course. I'm always posting new courses. If you want to try it out, you can do it right now for two weeks free. So you can click the link right below or in the description to give it a shot. All right. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.